being the only medieval dude in a convention center full of furries. That is gonna make you feel out of place. Oh shit, he's gonna, he's gonna punch me in the face soon here. Out one so and get everything. Yeah, you can get everything you want there in one single place. You don't need to walk around anymore. <laughs> If anybody ever wondered what furries drink, they seem to drink anything. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, what are we doing today? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm sitting in my car. Right now I have drove like an hour from home to Malmö. And today we are... Uh, I have a friend who is a furry, you know? Nordic Fur Fuscon 2023. In a, on a hotel in Malmö. So uh, that's where I'm going. I brought my medieval shit with me. I'm gonna... Uh, clown myself out as a medieval dude and I can imagine they have been doing some hell of partying so uh, the fandom meet each other the medieval versus the furries you can call it furry nights or something like that and I'll see you over there yeah now we are right outside the hotel looking for a parking spot to find something oh uh, there's a Swedish church building here maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll park in the Swedish church man what the fuck are they gonna say I'm Christian too man who parking is paid it's fucking expensive to park in Malmö but who gives a shit uh, we're doing this because uh, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna pull into the spot. It's excellent. Looking good, looking good. And we are ready to get in. So uh, I put the mic on so we can interview anybody. We have good sound. And yeah, it's a couple of hundred meters that way. So uh, I got the car keys. Everything is locked. Uh, I think, you know, I might uh, I might take this. Yeah, I'll take this one with me just for fun. I can look at the people. Good, excellent. Let's go. Speak Swedish? No? English? In here? Uh, open house? Ah, excellent, thank you very much. Oh, go there. Oh. Spanish Inquisition. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm here to uh, root out the heretics. When you least expect it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Q Fairy Montage! Well, so I am in here now, and I am thirsty as a motherfucker. I went to the bar, and I asked to take cash here, and they said, no, no, we don't take cash. So I wonder what the fuck kind of bar is it that doesn't take cash in a convention center? Welcome to Sweden, 2023. The most asshole fucking rules that What bar doesn't take fucking cash, man? Anyhow, I just talked to my friend on the telephone, and he will be coming down to meet us down here soon in a little second. So hopefully he had some beers, because I'm thirsty, man. Yeah, I'm sweating as an ass. I, at least I can relate to the furries now. I know how they feel. Uh, wearing all those fur suits and helmets and stuff, sweating your asses off. Probably shouldn't have used the gambas on, but hey, it's too late now. So uh, yeah, we just have to stick with it. Yeah, so this seems to be some kind of, uh, yeah, art corner, I must say. I'm pretty impressed. Stuff is looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's not bad. Yeah, I like these pictures, actually. That's a nice one. Oh, that's pretty nice. This guy has got robbed. Ripped off by they another furry. Pizza. They took his pizza. They, they took my pizza and they took my pineapple. That's a horrible fate, man. A scale from one to ten? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you very much. It's uh, time. Uh, which, like, time period? Yes. I would say like 1600s or something like that. Okay. Yeah, and you were, you were from the, a fairy from the future, I would guess. But you're not from Sweden, right? No, I'm from Germany. Ah, excellent. South of Germany. Yes. Oh, nice. Can I, you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. 
Uh, you're referring from Germany, right? Yes. So how long have you been here on this uh, conference? Uh, we arrived uh, Wednesday morning. Wednesday mace. How long have you been uh, been a furry, so to say? Uh, I think like 2016, like in the winter, I got a, a, in the winter between 2015 and 2016, I kind of got to know what the fuck furry is, ah. like the, the, the furry fandom itself. And then I got more into it, and then I went to my first ferry con. You, you took the dive, you like head first into the waters. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know how it is. You know, I did the same thing like 15 years ago with the medieval stuff, and Ooh. I never got out of it. <laughs> so uh, I know the feeling. I thought it would be funny to take on my medieval seat and come here because, yeah, you know, everybody got something they are very passionate about. And uh, you gotta, you know, live out your best self. I exactly. think that's the best solution. Exactly. Yes. I can imagine this is full, but I wasn't expecting there to be so much people here. It's super full. A lot of people don't expect it, that, like, to, to just when I look at it, and then people just like, oh my god, that's a lot of people. Do you have any idea of the amount of attendance they got here? Uh, I think they said 3,000? 3,000? 3,000, if I'm correct. That is a lot. Yes. That is a lot of people. You've been to other uh, fur cons in uh, Europe, I guess? Yes, and also one in America. Ah, not rainforest, right? Uh, no. No, no, I've heard no, about no, that. No, 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 that, that no, sounded, no, 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 no. That sounded epic, man. Even I would wanted to go to that. Man. It sounded like fun. It probably was fun. It probably was fun, yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't get to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the one in Germany? Uh, your friends. Your friends. Yes, ah. that's the biggest one in Germany. They moved it from Berlin to Hamburg this year. Ah, nice. Yes. So you're gonna do it this year too as well? Uh, no, sadly not. Ah. This year is having a timeout because the, the, the changes were a bit too complicated, like the times that they did and all the hotel things and the prices as well. So we just want to sit this year, one, this year out and like um, uh, the old hotel uh, also ch uh, charge up the prices. Uh -huh. And a lot of other stuff I don't really know about. Um, but yeah, but we want to sit out and like uh, look, for, wait for the feedback from this year's year friends at Hamburg and then see if we want to do it next year or look for other conventions. Oh my god. Oh, that's the guy with the pizza. Yes. The pizza thief. <laughs> no, it's, I'm getting my pizza. <laughs> Game is just going to make a nice joke about your name. So Go on, say. Okay. <clears throat> so would you say that you are now an echo of a pineapple? <laughs> pineapple? <laughs> No, because like, we are looking for pineapple and to put on that or just and, yes and just in general because pineapples are nice. Pineapple and pizza, and you know, that's not allowed. Do you are you are you friends? No, no. But you just ruined every friendship oh. possible. <laughs> yeah, because of the pineapple. Oh. To my knowledge, yeah, Swedish people have no opinion. saying in pineapple no, on pizza. Not this wrong opinion. Opinion. They're not entitled to this wrong bananas on pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I give you that. Banana <laughs> and curry should not be on a pizza either. Wait, what, what? Hold on. Do you banana have... and curry? Yeah, banana and curry. That's a pizza they do in Sweden. It's banana and curry but with... that's Sweden. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, it's... if pineapple not allowed, then definitely banana and curry should be banned as well. That sounds... Yeah, cool. It's weird. Yeah, uh, that it is a much. super weird pizza. I have ate it. I mean, it tastes... Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> I, I, out of just out of curiosity, I want to try it. I want to try it to, to know what I'm judging. I, 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 I mean, I you, like you I should can... be able to get it over here. This is pretty typical Swedish pizza, actually. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I don't ask but, me why. Okay. I, it's terrible. In, in Denmark, we have a weird thing on um, with putting spaghetti and meat sauce on pizza. It's yeah. like when you cannot decide between a pizza and a bolognese. So you just then you just mix it together. You take a combination <laughs> meal. And like in every pizzeria, you can get that. <laughs> Pizza with pasta on it. Yeah, pizza with the boiled spaghetti on it. Oh man, that's weird. And people saying America is weird about pizza. Can you get a pizza with uh, pome, uh, like yes, French fries on yes, it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I even, no, I even have seen that myself. You never eat it? No, oh, that, man, is it looks, that is actually okay. It looks good. way too strange. No, oh, it's actually... super good because you get like a pizza with the kebab on it and then you put the, the pommes on and then you just roll it up like a roll and eat it like that. Why? <laughs> Be because it's like savage. I mean, oh, yeah. I, get, <laughs> I have I, one thing when I, the first time I was visiting Denmark, I really and I got the, the, the like the pizza with the salad on. That was uh -huh. fucking amazing. Pizza with like the pizza salad on the pizza. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah like, but, but it's uh, after it comes out of the oven, 
so it's like fresh. Um, ah, yeah. fresh. It's, it's weird. No, it's no, it tastes no, 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 it's like crispy. Like, uh, weird. Yeah. So it's like it tastes amazing because yeah. it's not soggy. The the, the salad is like still um. They, so they put it, they put it on the pizza before they put it on no, the. No, no, after. No, no, after. Oh, okay. okay, okay. So all of like the normal fillings, and then you put the crisp salad and the dressing on top afterwards. So it's like and that. then what do you get? Warm salad. Who likes that? No, that's not. No, that's why they put the salad on after. Yes. Yes. Afterwards. The pizza is hot, so eat the salad is weird. Faster. You just have to eat fast. Yes. That is the trick. Also, I'm a dog, so I'm colorblind. You're a dog. What did the finger mm. was? I wouldn't say a dog. I would say like you looks like some kind of fox. I thought you were a coon. <laughs> a coon. A raccoon. Yeah. What? Oh, it's like a Shiba Inu tail, something like that. Oh. It's a husky tail. Okay, and, okay. Husky. Yeah, okay. Shiba Inu has the same. Yeah, 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 it's very curly. Yeah, yes. What do you think I am? Ah, <sighs> bigger ears. You uh, you if you say a mouse, I'm gonna throw you. No, I'm not gonna say a mouse. Let me see. Let, let me see your tail. Hmm. Are you a raccoon? No. Uh, oh I'm shit! Not? He's gonna he's gonna punch me in the face soon here. A possum? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was okay with raccoon, but a possum <laughs> is an insult. Yeah, I know. <laughs> possum is an ugly animal. Unfortunately, they're very nice, but it, they're not so pretty. I don't know. Um. Give me a clue. I come from Africa. Oh, from Africa. A fennec fox. No? A hyena? Yes! Got it! Nailed it! So the guy is a hyena, just so you know. So I was to I went to the bar and I wanted to buy a beer. And turns out they don't take cash. No. This entire con is cashless, and as a born German, this is confusing for no. us. Ray, isn't I'm it? I'm sorry to tell you, it's just because you're German, you have a weird relationship with cash. The thing is, I don't mind to get the, the cash. No, but you're Danish, you, you can pay with cash everywhere in Denmark. Yeah, but none, nobody, nobody really does it. But you know, we used to have Netto now, but they sold it to Coop, so. So we used to have Netto in Sweden, but now it's gone, unfortunately. It was the best oh. store. Yeah, it was so, like, it's so cheap. Yeah, and you could get a little bit of everything. You went yeah. in, you bought some meat, you could buy a, a tool, a welding machine, and a, you know... <laughs> exactly, we had You can had still everything. do that at uh, Lidl. Yeah, but you can still do it at Lidl, yeah. Germany for the win, we're, yes. we're taking in, we're taking in now. Efficiency. Go to one it's store and get everything. Yeah, you can get everything you want here in one single place. You don't need to walk around anymore. <laughs> I've only been in small nettles like this. There's the fucker! Hey, what's up, man? Oh, boy! Woo! How's it, dude? Hello. 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 Yeah, it looks like you have been yeah, having your head in place that you're not supposed to. Oh, let me share enough of a. Hello. Nope. Yeah, they mean coma? Mm -hmm. Do the fairy dance. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, Monda. Till Monda. Oh, that's fantastic. King Boat and you know, so. King Boat and. Yeah, direct. Smoking, not smoking. No, you smell good. Yeah, damn right. I do. Yeah, you smell pretty good. Yeah. You smell like a new clean car, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Hi, hi, kids. Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh, hi. Hi. You got yeah. Me. I'm the party panel, man. Yeah, boy. Oof, oof. I like the Getting photographed there everywhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! I'm being hunted down by all the fucking bodies in here. They're after me balls. Yeah, following this suspicious black panther around. Uh, let's see where it goes. What does that stand for? Nordic Foscon. Nordic Foscon. Oh yeah. So this is the, this is the main furry event. The snowflake. The snowflakes. Oh no. No, no, I want to just Not in public. Oh look at that. <laughs> look at that ass. So let's check out this event flyer here. We have today's uh, Club X, Friday 21 to 0245. Pops, fursuits, rubber and more. Then we got to Yeah there. Yeah, okay, fursuits, rubber and yeah. Okay, the that sounds kinky. Yes, it does. 
Oh. Please. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Everybody fits in an elevator. <laughs> okay. Do What's the maximum capacity of these elevators? Don't ask that right now. <laughs> a thousand kilos. Everybody out. Everybody out. <laughs> Everybody back in again. <laughs> oh man, this this must be a fucking war zone at night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a really nice um, flyer you have there. <laughs> oh, let's get in here. Uh, did you, here is one person. Uh, it's inside out. So if you have, man, that's that's some pretty advanced uh, sewing here. I have to say, that's a lot of pieces. It's um, <laughs> gonna make your little um, little YouTube video. You're gonna have to censor some shit. This motherfucker's they got one of the best rooms in the hotel. It turns out. I love having a view. It's shitty weather, but it's a nice room, so it's good enough. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow, so you get lucky. <laughs> if anybody ever wondered what furries drink, they seem to drink anything. Yeah. Pretty much anything goes. Yeah. Basoa, Bacardi, Licor 43, Sante. I mean, we got a good selection of alcohols in here. Captain Morgan, Amarula. Oh man, this. I'm fucking. Hey, Bergman, I'm staying. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, it's a bit of chaotic over here. There's a lot of things going on, uh, but it's really fun. Uh, there is a lot of beautiful stuff to look at. You can start off with uh, all the fursuits, of course. There's a lot of art, uh, a lot of crafts and stuff like that. I really enjoy it. It's beautiful, uh, thank you. And all the fursuits, it's really, uh, what can I say? It's very, very interesting to see. And there is a lot of effort uh, put into a lot of this costume, so that's super cool. And I followed my, my, my furry friend up to his room and he showed his, his new fursuit. It was uh, very nice. And he spent like $3,000 on it. So, uh, yeah, cost as much as my suit of armor. But that was uh, Nordic Foscon. I must say, it was uh, quite an experience. I usually don't feel out of place. But yeah, being the only medieval dude in a convention center full of furries that is gonna make you feel out of place but it was super fun i had a great time even though i only stayed for a couple of hours but uh, yeah my furry friend bergman he said next year you come with me and you'll be my cameraman i said yeah hell yeah i will do that but yeah it was definitely an, uh, an experience i never been to a furry convention before i might actually uh, go sometime in medieval clothing of course just to uh, for this fuck of it i can't find my fucking car i don't remember where i parked it i might have to check on the cell phone oh by the way i got the souvenir i got a uh, open house guest uh fast 2023 motherfucker so always good with some memories huh i hope you like that uh, i guess it can be an experience for anybody to watch you know if you didn't know what furries are before you definitely know what furries are now I had a great time now it's all that remaining is to uh drive back home i'm not gonna change back into regular clothes because yeah not that far. Fuck it. That's it for today's video. I hope it gave you some fun at least. It's always fun to know what other people are up to. But yeah, this is gonna be this for this one and I'll see you in the next one. So uh, have a good weekend. It's Friday so I'm gonna go buy a couple of beers and then have a good night. See you around. Ciao.